Hello everybody. Welcome to another very exciting reveal of the latest GT car. After the huge success of the GT4 RS, many of you guys may have thought, what would it be to have that kind of car without a roof, as a spider, as a convertible? And behind me, you will find the answer how it looks. And I can tell you, it looks great. Here it is, 718 Spider RS. We see the car here with the Weissach package. It's a GT4 RS without a roof, but it's a lot more than just a normal coupe with a chopped off roof. It is way more. There's so much technology in this car. There's so many modifications. I think it's the best open air festival a GT car can offer. And uh, we're very proud to be able to present that car right now. So now let's take a look at the car. Beginning at the front, it resembles the GT4 RS pretty much. There's lots of similar parts, but if we start from down below, we see here for aerodynamical reasons, we have a different front wing, which is a little bit shorter to get the car into an aerodynamical balance because we're lacking a big spoiler. So we have to bring the car back into balance. We're doing this with a different front lip with a lots of different underbody modifications, uh, which uh, gives us the right amount of downforce on the car uh, that is perfectly in balance with the rear. If we look at the car here, we have carbon fiber parts everywhere. The hood is carbon fiber. The front fenders are carbon fiber. We have these big nostrils here to get air out of the wheel wells. The wind frame is narrower than on a GT4S, spider-like to give it a low profile. You sit deep into the car. And what definitely stands out at first sight is the intake system of the car, which is located here on both sides, very near to the co-driver's and driver's head, very near to its ears, making a wonderful induction noise music almost. We call it our music boxes here. All the air that is entering through this system here reaches the engine, which is a flat six, four liter, 9,000 RPM and 500 horsepower engine, exactly the same engine that we have in the GT4 RS, in the GT3, and in the GT3 Cup race car. And if we proceed to the backside of the car, we see this beautiful ducktail here. Everybody loves ducktails, so do we. Although this is almost a swan tail. It's really huge and it's necessary to keep the balance of the car in cooperation with the modifications we did to the front. We could achieve a zero lift situation, even on an open car. Normally, an open car always has a lot of lift at speed. This one hasn't. This is perfectly neutral. A point that stands out for me, and an open car is even lighter than its coupe sibling. This car at 1410 kilos in its lightest possible spec is even lighter than a GT4 RS. And if you leave away the top, and we come to the top later, it's even less, so you end up at 1,402 kilos with a topped-off tank. This is unparalleled before, and if you drive the car, even from the standstill, from the parking lot, you feel immediately the agility, the lightweight feeling the car offers, and this is so much fun, even if you're not at speed. And now, let's have a look at these beautiful wheels. I love the design, so lightweight, and I'm a wheel freak, to be honest. I like silver wheels a lot, and the design, is the lightest possible way and the stiffest possible way to make the best lightweight design out of a rim. So it's not because you think it's beautiful, it's purely functional and it's very much leaned on the design of the wheel from the race car RS Spider on the Spider RS. On the front, we see it as well, the car has a very wide stance. So we were trying to fit as much tire underneath the car as possible to give it the best grip and the best, biggest contact patch. The suspension features the latest technology dampers, PASM system, is a little bit softer sprung than the GT4 RS, so we adapted a little bit to the main use of the car. The main use is enjoy the car on legal roads, up and down the mountains, on curvy backcountry roads. This is exactly how we set that car up and it works brilliantly. The interior. Race bucket seats come standard. The inserts are either red or arctic gray. We see the red version here, which was very hot to this more cool exterior color, very good match. We see a lot of components clad in microfiber, in race tags, even the dashboard, if you opt for the Weissach package, 
is uh, engulfed in uh, race tags, the steering wheel is, and the shifter as well. Talking about the shifter, we have a PDK gear box in that car, seven speed, very, very short gears, and um, contribute a lot to the fierce acceleration the car offers. The car here is a little bit the luxury version because it features a radio, so you can opt for a radio delete as well, saving another six kilos of the car, if you rather listen to the music that is produced by these loudspeakers. Now we have an idea how that car looks without a top. But many of you might ask themselves, how does it look closed? This car is a spider, and a spider is a car, an open car, that in case it rains or the sun beats down too hard, can be equipped with a lightweight emergency top. And uh, we want to demonstrate how the car looks with the top, but it's a little bit a procedure. We really love to celebrate the procedure. It's not the push of a button. We want a lightweight, really lightweight top here, and it's 16 kilos lighter than the top of a Boxster. Let me introduce Markus Atz, my good colleague here. He was the project manager of this car and he knows this car at least as good as I do. And um, he will give me a hand demonstrating how to put up the top. You can do it on your own, no problem. Everybody can do it with a little bit of practice in about two minutes. Okay, Markus, let's hit it. First thing, we open the rear lid. You do that for me, please, or we can do it together. Next step, take out the top, which is super light. Look at this thing. It is, I think it's six kilos. We can attach it here to the window frame and everything is manual here. No electrical gizmos. Front part attached, that was step one. Step two is unfold the canvas. Attach it. We see these cables here, that is step three. Ensure there's enough tension in the cables. So we hook them up on both sides. Then we close. Step four, the lid. And we're almost done. We pull that little thingy here to get out the sled here. Attach the back end and just apply some pressure, clicking in. And here we see the 50% open, or rather the 50% closed version. Marco, thank you very much for helping me. So I think that wraps it up. The 718 Spider RS. I think it will make a great impression on you when you see one in the flash. Thank you for your attention.